for Living Local, provided by The Rachel Ray Show. Welcome back. We're inside our Louisiana Home Center kitchen, and firefighters work around the clock to keep us safe. So we want to show our appreciation for their sacrifices by bringing an amazing cook from the firehouse. So I'm here with Hunter Berkey from Station 4 Shady Grove, Bossier City Fire Department. Just show us a little bit something today. Hunter, thank you for coming on the show today. Yeah, that's good. Thank you for having me. Yeah, Hopefully we're so going. excited to have you. I'm Absolutely. so excited to cook with you. I don't know what I'm doing. That's no surprise to anyone at home, but I'm so excited to have your help today. So tell us what we're making. So we're going to do a pan-seared pork chop with uh, some rosemary and some thyme and fresh green beans with yes. mushrooms. That sounds so good. So we have the green beans here. So let's just get started. Let's hop right into it. We have Absolutely. the skillets hot, so let's, so let's jump in. Okay, so, what do we want to um, do first? You can cut up so the rest of those green beans there okay. and get those ready. And okay. we'll just salt and pepper and garlic this uh, pork chop here. Okay, so we have the pork chop. That's a big pork chop. It is. It is. I like the bone in pork chop. You can substitute this with a um, with a pork loin chop. You know, you get the tenderloin, cut it to a chop. You know, really, you know, whatever's easier for you. But yeah. I like bone in. I think bone gives it more flavor. So tell me about the seasonings that you're putting on there. I see you're adding quite a bit there. Yeah, so I'm using salt, kosher salt. I like kosher salt. You know, coarse, ground, and then uh, garlic, granulated garlic, uh, coarse pepper, and uh, some smoked paprika could give color. Yes. That's what I like to do there. So we have some green beans here, and I'm just cutting the ends off like you taught me. Yep. That's and then right. I know you told me that you were making our own butter today, which we I don't are. know what that means, but that sounds really exciting. We are. We're going to. We have some already softened butter, and then we will uh, add some rosemary, not rosemary. We'll add some thyme, some yes. garlic, and ginger paste to it. That sounds and so then good. It will go on top of the finished product. So we're still seasoning that meat, and we're about to yep. throw it on the skillet. But Hunter, while we do that, I want to talk to you a little bit about your career in the fire department. You're a firefighter and a paramedic. I want to talk right. to you about your involvement in the community and what it's like for you to have gone down this career path and be making such a big difference in the community by watching out for us. Yeah, yeah. Well, it definitely wasn't my first option. I didn't, like everybody else, you know, you're not really sure what you yeah. want to do when you go out of high school. And so I played around in college, you know, to see what that was all about and realized college really wasn't for me and um, had some friends that were getting on the fire department. And um, so I gave it a try and, you know, it took me a few tries to get on and then I finally did it and, you know, went through the academy and that was a six month process yeah. and then, you know, going through the academy, you come out as an EMT basic, you know, you have, so you have your EMT and you have your paramedic and after about two years on the department, I went and got my paramedic. Yeah, that's really cool. So yeah. I know that you guys spend lots of hours at the firehouse and you guys have like 24 hour shifts. So I'm sure that, what, like I was telling you earlier, we end up spending more time with our coworkers than we do our family. Absolutely. So your team and your and the guys that you work with every single day have become sort of like your family. So tell me a little right. bit about your relationship with the guys at the station. Uh, you know, they are family, so it's kind of like a love-hate relationship sometimes. You know, we can get on each other's nerves and <laughs> yeah. we're ready to go home and yeah. get away from those people. But then at the same time, you know, we're at home and we're ready to come back and see those guys again just because, you know, we cut up, have fun, you know let loose but you know we still have a job that we perform and we do it absolutely. pretty well. Absolutely, absolutely and I want to talk to you about you know you are the first responders in a time of emergency so what is that like to have to go out and help people in our community and to know that these are people that you know these are your coworkers and people that we are next to every single day and you have to go out there and help them through what we could what could be a really bad situation. Right I mean you know it's all it's an awesome feeling you know that you can go and help somebody and when they think you're their last resort like oh my gosh I absolutely. need, I need something right now I need to call 911 and you know or even just for like a slip and fall you know we do patient assist also so we go to patients that uh that need help me get that spatula yeah. for me you know that have fallen you know the elderly that that can't get up and um so I mean it's, it's just a good feeling you know to feel like that you've done something to change someone's life so to speak or to um put them at ease at comfort you know that you could be the one to do that. Absolutely. And on the firefighter side of it, I think that you and the guys that you work with along with every single day, you guys put your life on the line essentially to save someone else's because That's right. you are throwing yourself into an emergency situation where you guys could get hurt. That's right. You know, a lot of us don't really think of it like that. You know, it's just we we're there we have a job to do and that's just what we do we don't think about oh no i could die doing this right. or i could severely hurt myself you know that just it's something that comes with it yeah and 
and I know as weird as it sounds, we get an adrenaline rush from it. Yeah, that's what I was talking to you so, about earlier. I was like, I know that you probably get a huge adrenaline rush, so in that moment, you're just thinking about how can I help? What is the what? Is, what is my job? What do I need to do right now? You're not thinking about how you could get hurt. But when you sit down and think about it, we know that you do sacrifice a lot and that you do put your life on the line. So we want to yeah. thank you and thank you to all oh, our absolutely. firefighters in our community for keeping us safe. We love doing it. Yeah, so that this smells so good right now. So tell me what you're, what you're working so on. So I'm just, uh, you know, sauteing these mushrooms a little bit, you know, to soften them up so you're not really having like a rubbery feel in your yeah. mouth. So, And then uh, we'll go and we'll add the green beans, we'll add some garlic to it. Just kind of turn it down. It's getting a little warm there. Yeah. So and, you want to uh, go ahead and add those green beans yeah, in there? Yeah, go ahead and add some green beans. All right. How do you want me to do you this? You just throw them on in there. Throw them in there with my hands. I yeah, washed my right. hands prior to this, <laughs> so do not worry. No worries. All right. There we go. And tell me what we're going to be doing with this butter. So with this butter, we have some softened butter over here okay. already. Uh, we'll so get, you just put it in this little... Yeah, you can keep it in there, actually. Okay. And you can add some of that ginger paste and the garlic paste there. Okay. How much do I add? Uh, I know that you told me you were just eyeballing this, but... Yeah, just give her a squirt. I'll tell you when. There we go. That's, That's good? Perfect. Okay. Yeah. And with the same with garlic. <laughs> okay. I'm so hungry. My stomach is growling. I was telling Hunter earlier that my stomach was hurting, and I think it's because I'm hungry. So I'm definitely ready to try well, this. Well, hey, we have a meal coming. There you go. Check on that. How's that going? So I just mix perfect. this up. That's right. Just mix it on up. Okay. And then um, we'll get some of this uh, whole time here. Okay. I'm not very good at mixing this. Yeah, it could be a workout. So you cook at the fire station for the guys. I'm sure that's uh, fun. You guys yeah, come I up do, with a lot of different things. Yeah, I do most of the time. I spend a lot of time on my ambulance because I am a paramedic. Yeah. So, you know, I try to keep it simple at the fire station when I do cook. That way when we do run, you know, cause when we make a run, it's you're looking at about an hour call. And so I try to keep it simple so the, the firemen can go back and finish it and it's right. not something too complicated. How much do I want to add of this? Just a little uh, pinch? Keep on going. Okay. You can do another pinch. Another one. Yeah, absolutely. All right. There we go. And we are almost done cooking. We're going to finish making this butter. Tell me what yeah. you're going to do with this butter. Uh, so we'll, so what we'll do with the finished product, the pork chop, we'll put that on top, let it melt. It kind of gives it a, another flavor than just okay. the salt, pepper, and garlic on there. Yeah. So, and then here in a minute, we'll, uh, we'll throw some butter in the skillet and we'll throw some of the whole rosemary and whole thyme in there. Kind of let it do its work and then spoon that flavor on top of the pork yeah. chop. Yeah. So good. So through the magic of TV, we have the finished product. So I'm about to pull it out for you guys so we can try it as well. So let me grab that from and then microwave. We have it ready to go. Absolutely. It's getting a little smoky in here. Yes, it is a little smoky. All right, but it smells so good. So here we have the finished product of the pork chop, the green beans, and the mushrooms. That's right. It looks so good. We're going to cut into <laughs> it. And Hunter, I just wanted to say thank you again for being with us today. Oh, we sure absolutely. appreciate thank you. Yeah, we appreciate me. everything that you do for our community. Absolutely. So let's cut into this. What do you, you say? throw some of this on there. Okay. Hopefully that's the good stuff. So what, what do I do with this? So let's just give it a little slice. Okay. Is that and enough? you just throw it on top. Put it on here? Oh, yeah. All right. This is lunch. <laughs> that's lunch. That's right. I was starving. Yes. <laughs> All right. Enjoy. This is so good, Hunter. <laughs> if you could just come cook lunch for us every day, that would be hey, fine. I know they're going to miss you at the firehouse, but we need you here more. I'm in. Let's do it. <laughs> It'll be a good time for sure. All right, guys. I'm going to finish this bite. Hunter, thank you again for being with us today. Absolutely. We really appreciate yes, you. Thank you to all the firefighters in the community. We appreciate everything that you do and the sacrifices that you guys make every single day. And stay tuned with us. I'm going to finish this bite. We'll be back with more Living Local after the break. <laughs> Well, I can't